So if you've got a camera in a little rig, you'd want something that can help you focus a lot easier. This little system here is nothing too fancy, but it allows you to follow focus on your DSLR camera. What it is, it's a small piece of kit. It's actually designed uh, by Varav One, if I'm saying that right even. And it's a little bit of a, basically it's elastic band with a little handle on, with a bit of grip there, but it's designed to help you follow focus so if i was doing my little rig setup here that's how it looks like on its side that is what i want to concentrate on i've got two of these so i can put one on that focusing and i can put one on the zoom so you basically add it onto your camera like this you just go around it you find the right position for it you just hook it in place it's very grippy what that means is watch this come on mate that's some pro focusing right there nice and smooth focusing you know and i'm i'm right-handed so i'm trying to show you on my left Okay, here we go. It's got the option there, but it's something that you would look at for extra functionality without uh, spending too much money on a really fancy follow focus. You can see here the manufacturing of it, little grip handles here, and you've got little divots here. And then also the plastic handle has got that little bit extra to give you that added grip. So you get a nice smooth follow focus. When you've got a little uh, shotgun mics or little lights, you might find this very handy. You can actually use it as a small ball joint. It's got your standard tripod sizes on this. So you can actually put it onto light stands and tripods and add additional things on there. I find it very useful for action cameras. I normally use my action camera in a mount. So there's an example action camera there. As you can see here, if I was to put that on a tripod, I can just screw that on. You can see here, I can adjust it to the right angle and even do a, a 90 degree top down shot just like that on a tripod. So that kind of gives you that idea of how it can handle it. So you'd be surprised, this is something very small, but very overlooked. So it's actually a hot shoe mount with uh, a thread nut on it. So why would you need this? Well, it's actually very useful for mounting things onto your camera. I've got my camera here right now. That is a hot shoe. I can put in this, tighten the screw. So now I actually have a three quarter thread to attach something on top of there. So now if I wanted to put a light onto my camera, such as this i can just screw it on because we'll have that mounting system below it uh, all you do is screw it onto the the thread there and here we go so now i've actually got a light screwed on and all at the help of a simple little nut that allows me to secure extra things onto that i could do a flash i could do a microphone a shotgun mic a number of things you can even jerry rig a couple of these together and actually use them for additional things so for example if i put it on the bottom of there i can actually use it and put alternative options for top down shots as well so you get different lengths in them but i wanted to show you that because it's a nice little hack to know about sometimes you want to get that extra little function from your camera if you've got a dslr camera what i'm looking at right now is actually very handy it allows you to set up your system in a way that it magnetizes it so there's a little bit of a sticker here that you put on the back of the camera you'll see it goes in a way that it doesn't impede the screen so you still see the screen it's a little peel, it's double-sided sticky tape you stick there. Make sure you get the right one for your camera. And you can see here, just by using that LCD view, we can actually magnify this. So looking along these lines, you can see now how that would work. You can flip it around and actually use it for video shots. So basically it magnifies what you're seeing so you actually get the focus nailed on it. So I reckon that's not too of a shabby deal. I have got a camera here which would be classed as a beginner camera so that might be handy for you to see if you're looking for that LCD view. So give you an idea of how much it can magnify. So if I do that, you can see that. See how that can gets bigger? So on your screen it basically magnifies everything so if, you, if you're not sure if you're focusing or not then it would work for you for follow focus and making sure you crack your focus, especially on your camera. It's a nice, easy attachment you can take on and off. And I use it quite a lot, especially when I do video work. So that's one of the cameras, LCD view. Very important to keep all your memory cards safe. So I have got this case here that keeps my memory cards secure. I've got a number of cards here you can see, and this is a waterproof solution. You can actually have it and it keeps everything in a nice secure location. I have a carabiner on there and that helps to keep it all nice and safe. So would I recommend it? This option, there's a few types you can get in this. You have obviously the CF holder, but below that you do have the SD card holder as well. So I normally have multiple cards, which I download and then put into here. You can see there, I can put two in the bottom and then you can cover them up with the compact flash. And there's space for micro cards in there as well. And you can see there's a nice waterproof seal here and it feels very robust. This is something that's very handy. Sometimes you just want to get 
a memory card and use your small micro memory cards with your USB device. So you can actually use it as a thumb drive essentially. You put your card in there and then that goes into your computer. It's a small file, if it's music, then it's perfectly fine because you've got USB 2 speeds. If you have slightly faster ones, you can get a USB 3 card option or you can get an adapter on the memory card which makes it SD size, standard compact, and then that can be used. But yeah, it's a nice little option there. I thought I'd share that with you to give you an idea of size. It does come with a little cap on the front here, so it actually keeps it nice and safe. Yep, so the Lexa USB 3 card reader you'll notice if you have it in your desk it's very sleek looking you can close it press the side buttons there's two buttons here and those allow you to pop it up when you hop it up you take your camera card out you put it in the top just like that sd card i normally do this while it's on the desk and they just slide in like that so i'm trying to do them and show you it which is a bit weird but yeah so those two cards go in i can plug in my usb3 cable it is usb3 powered make sure your computer is also usb3 powered so you're making the full use of the high speed of pulling off data off your cards those work excellently the speed on the cards are high enough to cope with the usb3 so within minutes i've got my eight gigabytes worth of photos or video whatever it is on my computer uh, apart from that what may also be worth you having is if you have a camera that doesn't take one of those two cards, it might be something like these micro SD cards because my action cameras normally take those, the other action cameras I've got. Um, but you want to get an adapter basically where you can make the smaller one into an SD and then put the SD into there. I've done some testing for you before you ask. You can use the adapter and it has no effect on the speed of the card. So for example, a good question would be, just because I'm using the adapter, does that slow down my card reading speed? I did some tests and no, I didn't. I used some software to see how much time it took to write off a one gigabyte file. Whether I used the adapter or not, the card speed was still high because I'm using an official SanDisk adapter and a SanDisk card, official, as in from a SanDisk store. There are a lot of copies and out there that are not genuine, so those won't work, so be careful with that. So that's basically the Lexa. I've been very happy with it, to be honest with you. It is important to get the right type of memory card for your camera. If you have a Canon camera, uh, like the SL3 or 250D, the SD memory card that I have here will work in your camera. However, you can also use an adapter with a micro SD card like that. What does that mean for you? Well, it means you can adapt that smaller memory card and then use that in your camera. And I've used SanDisk for a number of years and they offer reliable memory cards at high speeds, as stated on the card. 